Hello everyone, welcome to what is going to be a new series, a new Championship Manager 0102 series. Um, yep, it's using the latest March 2019 data update and the latest Saturn V701 patch. Both can be found from www.champman0102.co.uk. Uh, if you see, I've just done a free season um, adventure with Crystal Palace. Uh, yeah, sort of went okay, I guess, but didn't really win any honours or anything. Found that I kept getting constantly super keepered, and yeah. So what's happened to that save is it's now passed on to a friend of mine, Mikey Chambers, who is going to manage... Crystal Palace, the team that I assembled, put his own tweak on it, buy or sell, whoever he wants, add his own tactics and everything. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how he managed that, manages that team for a season to see if he can do any better than I did and get them to greater heights. Um, this save is uh, intended to be a season-long save with my beloved Liverpool, um, the team that I support. Um, yeah, massive, massive Liverpool supporter. Uh, yep, I'm from Kent, I get that. But Liverpool are a globally supported football club all over the world. And uh, there's quite a lot of us down in Kent, believe it or not. As um, I used to be part of the Kent Reds, a, a supporters club that used to travel up to a lot of games. Uh, I've been to around 70. That's home and away uh, in amongst the 70 games. So I've seen my club quite a lot of times. Got them tattooed on me. So yes, I am a proper Liverpool fan, uh, supporter, I should say. Um, yeah, I wanted to take over Liverpool. I'd feel passionate about this save, being the club that I love. Um, obviously know the players very well. Um, want to see how I do for a season, really. See if I can get us some glory in any form. It's obviously going to be tough with the other top five teams around us. Your Man City's, your... Tottenham, Arsenal, uh, Chelsea and United, so it'll be a good battle. Um, Going to continue it pretty much like I did with the Palace save, probably try and keep the videos to, I'd say 50 minutes to an hour um, and do a lot of pausing to get rid of all the, the rubbish basically and show you the meat of the save, like uh, news, things that matters, transfers, obviously show you all the games and that. Um, so yeah that'll be the plan with this save as I say I'm going to do it for a season see how I go if I'm still enjoying it and everything may continue it for many more seasons so um, I'm expecting it to still be a challenge because there's other big teams around me in both domestically and Europe but um, it should be a little bit easier than the Palace save because I'll have more money to spend I'm guessing yeah a lot of money there um, and better players I'm starting off with and I also have a real know-how of the team. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the save. Um, the board are expecting us to go for the title, so there's obviously a lot more expectations on us. Um, we're going to start with Newcastle at home, so we go against Rafa Benitez. Um, he'll be coming home. Um, Brighton and then Palace. Um, I've arranged three friendlies, or trying to arrange against Bruges, Celta, Sampdoria may show you them friendlies or may just skip past them. I don't know. I'm, I'll see how that goes. But yeah, you'll notice quite a lot of jumping to and fro screens where I'm pausing and things. So that's just to, to add a nice flow to the to the series really and get through quite a few games. So yep, looking forward to it. So in terms of tactic, what I'm looking at playing is. Um, I'm going to give this a go. Never played this before. Not sure if it's going to work. If it doesn't, then we'll change it. Because, you know, we want to win games, obviously. But I'm tempted to give this a go with um, these instructions. If you just want to have a quick browse through, I'll show you what I'm planning on playing. I mean, it might not work. It's quite a very attacking tactic, so we could leak a lot of goals. But I'm going to give it a go like I say, and I'm open to changing it, whereas in the Palace game, I wasn't open to changing it, I, I changed it too late towards the end, and started to get a bit of, bit of success with it, um, so yeah, we're going to give this a go, but it might not necessarily be our tactic, but we'll try it, hold up ball, may take that off, I'm not sure, I looked at Firmino, and he's not actually that strong to do that role, on this game anyway um, 
I've got them on long shots for now. That may change. I have to look at their sh the the way they're obviously long shot attribute um, through balls as well. I have to look at the passing and creativity. Um, yep, yeah, obviously. This is what we're looking to go with here. Um, I put Moreno on the transfer list. Uh, don't really rate him to be honest. Um, so we'll be looking at another left back to bring in to cover for Robertson. Uh, I've put a Regi on as well. Stats not that great. Might get a little bit of money for him. So yeah, he'll be off. Uh, Ings is on Southampton loan as well. I believe he goes there next season as well. On permanent. Um, we'll be looking at a centre mid, another centre mid. I know we've got quite a an array there, but. I don't know how the, I mean the attributes. Looking at them, what Liverpool are lacking in real life is that real creative central midfield player. So that's what I'll, my main dive in the transfer market will be. I may look at another striker as well to um, cover Firmino because as much as I love Daniel Sturridge, his stats don't look that great, and obviously quite injury prone, isn't he? Um, so yeah, I think we'll be looking for a left back, just on the cheap to cover Robertson. Um, possibly another striker certainly a centre midfielder with creativity that's what we'll be looking at um, don't think I think the defence I know what my first choice defence is might possibly even sell Mignole and try and get another second backup keeper but do we need to really because his stats look decent he's probably happy to start as a as a number two understudy so I don't know about that but I'm certainly going to be looking and see what happens there so we're just about to sell Divock Origi to Palmare of Brazil for 11.5 million. Um, it's over 12 months, but we'll get the money. And we got quite a bit in the bank. So yeah, Divock's on his way. PSG have uh, offered us a friendly match at Parc de Prince, 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 <laughs> Princes. Um, I was a bit conscious about having too many friendlies, but I'm going to accept that. I'm going to take that, and um, I think what I'm going to do, I'll probably no. I might just keep the four. To be honest with you, I'll keep the four um, pre-season friendlies. As I say, um, I'm not quite sure if I'll show you the the friendlies yet. I might just play them, and then you see the results afterwards. Um, they're not important are they really um, but I do like to have at least three a season it's just a belief I have that it might get the players like cohesive together in the new tactic and things a lot of players I know won't won't play a friendly at all they believe they're just a waste of time and you get injuries from them fair point probably but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I like to do things how what would happen in real life. So I at least like to have three friendlies, really. Um, we're in the draw for the Champions League playoff, which is, yeah, um, we're going to have to qualify because obviously the old rules apply on this. And we'll have to go through Valletta or Red Star, who we actually played in this season's competition, Red Star Belgrade, in real life. So, um yeah, so fairly tricky, but I'd expect us to, to navigate through that tie. In fact, thinking about it now, um, it may be that I may have to cancel a friendly because I'm guessing the first leg of this playoff will probably coincide with um, at least one of these friendlies, so I might have to look at cancelling one of them. So, some of you will be familiar with this fella. On my Crystal Palace save, who I signed, started off terrible basically, wasn't scoring. Well, he actually started well because he scored in the FA Cup debut, um, but then he dried up of goals. I switched formation and he started to bang them in. Um, I like his determination. That's another thing that where I was going wrong in my Palace save. You should always look for someone with quite a high determination because that will determine whether they improve their stats or not. He's 21 years old. I'm going to give him another game, um, another chance. Sorry, in this save with better players around him, I think he'll flourish. We're also going for Wendell as a left back, um, left back option with Robertson. Obviously, Robertson will start, but Wendell will play deputy, and he's a lot 
looks a lot better than Moreno, put it that way. Um, so we're going to put Wesley as a squad rotational player. A bit conscious about taking this down. I don't know what he's earning right now. He's earning 50,000, so we'll, we'll try and see how we get with him. Um, if you just bear with me a minute, short his contract out. Yeah, you're probably thinking, Matt, why are you going with this fella again? I think he's got quality, and I think in this tactic I'm going to play, and with the players around him, he'll do pretty well. But time will tell. We'll, we'll certainly soon see. Um, whether he'll start ahead of Firmino, I doubt it. But there'll be competition for the two of them, that's for sure. And then we've got Sturridge to rely on as a third, if need be, perhaps for League Cup games or, or what have you. Um Ray, I've come for Moreno. I'm going to accept that. 24 months, but I'm going to accept it. So we play PSG today. I'm just going to sort the team out and I'll be right back with you. Um, in fact, I probably will show you the, the uh, pre-season friendlies. Why not? So, yeah, I'll be with you in a sec. So here we are. I've set the team up. Um, you'll see here that um, Trent Alexander-Arnold's name is not shown on the tactic screen. It's because he's too long. I could give him a nickname, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, I've given the captaincy to Virgil van Dijk. Now, I rate Jordan Henderson. I really do. I think the stick he gets is disgusting because he is a good player. He's a very good player, in fact. Yeah, he's not world-class, but he's a very good player. And what he does for our football team goes unnoticed. And the stick he gets, I just hate it. Very good player, and... A key cog to our football team but I'm going to give it to Van Dijk just for the simple reason he's, he's a defender um, I can't really use that reason I don't know I just I suppose what it is because it's I'm the manager I'm not Jurgen Klopp I want to change it up and do it my way kind of thing Henderson's the captain under Klopp Van Dijk's going to be the captain under me that's a better way of putting it that's not to say that I don't trust Henderson as a captain or as a player for this football team because I do, I rate him highly. Um, we are looking for that centre midfield creative player that we're going to get. Well, hopefully we'll get. Um, so the, the centre mids we have, there'll be a change up to find what I feel is my strongest. That might include Henderson, it might not. Might include Cater, might not. Might include Milner, might not. Might include Wijnaldum, might not. It's all about testing seeing what we can find but yeah that's my reason for the captaincy for Van Dyke um, I'm just going to turn the sound off and away we go this will be a tough game this will I'm just going to leave as is see how we get on against this PSG team who are very strong Neymar Cavani um, what's his name Mbappe so they're no mugs at all Come on, the boys in red. In terms of uh, my expectations this season, give the Premier a real push. Push for the title. We do want to push for that title. Um, and it would be nice to win a trophy, wouldn't it? But I've seen how this game acts. I've seen the super keeper in and things like that. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe it was a tactical kind of thing. That's annoying with the Mane injury. That's a thing, see, um, why people don't like these friendlies. And hopefully he won't be out for too long. But yeah, um, it would be nice to win a trophy, wouldn't it? Now ah, they've scored. But uh, we'll have to see how we go, really. We need a lot of luck. We need to keep our players fit, strongest players. Um... Yeah. Well, uh, we're certainly not being outclassed by PSG. Well, uh, we're the better team again by the looks of it. Um, Allison's injured, isn't he? So, Minulay's in. Um, Perhaps change this up slightly. I just wanted to have a look actually for runs. I've got these guys on long shots and I, and I don't think they're long shooters. K 
indicator certainly isn't Henderson isn't really so no I don't know why I'm doing that to be honest um, I'm going to bring on Milner for Cater and Winyeld I'm going to change that up slightly I'm going to bring on Lalana in there Stur Sturridge will come on Sturridge is strength fly actually um, yeah Matip probably there Lovren um, yeah that will be all I change today I think um, I'm going to give me all of the captaincy see if we can get back into this it's only a friendly you know could end up playing PSG in the Champions League if we get through but um, yeah it's only a friendly be nice to win or get a draw at least but um, we won't lose too much sleep over this Ah, uh, they've got a penalty, and Cavani buries it, makes it 2-0. <coughs> um, it's just all about getting a few minutes under the players' belts, seeing how they adapt to this tactic. It's a good yardstick to measure with. Well, yeah, Buffon, the old super keeper in effect again. I'd rather it being a friendly though over in, than anything else. So Manny's out for a month, and that pretty much confirms what other players say about having friendlies. So, yeah, probably right there. Oldham the point skulls again like real life, and we all know what happened there. So Moreno's gone. Um, Wesley few weeks regarding the work permit situation Club Bruges away today a team that we're familiar with back in the old days actually beat them in the European Cup final um, right just going to look at the side again Allison's back um, hoping he's, he's fit enough to Play. Well, no, but he's going to be mega fit, are they? Obviously, Mane's out, which is a pain for us. So, I think... We're going to have to play Zekiri, although... They can't really play this role, can they, a lot of these? Um, bring up young Brewster, I think. He's got a lot of talent. Had him on our Palace save on loan. I was banging him in. Um, right, win would be nice, of course. Okay, uh, get in. Get in, Kata, too. Yay, hey, Salah. We're ripping him a new one. This is better. Starting to bury our chances. Obviously, Bruges are a step down in quality from PSG. Lovely stuff. Um, I'll check on the condition. We don't want no injuries again. Um, yeah, I'm, obviously they're attacking mids. I don't know if they can play these roles, but we're going to have to make do, really, because this is the tactic I want to play. So, um, 
Sturridge again, I think, will come on. I forgot they're on long shots again, aren't they? But saying that, Cater has obviously scored. So, I don't know if they were long shots. They might be working. I'm going to leave. Bring Wijnaldum on for uh, Henderson. Try this now. Oof. Well, it's all us at the minute, isn't it? Change up a little bit more. Um Perhaps young Curtis Jones might give him a go up top. Milner for Cater. Uh, Lovren perhaps for Gomez. Lovely little three nil win. Perfect. So young keeper Kelleher turned up late today. I'm going to give him a warning. Gonna be a bit more authoritarian in my approach now. Let people know they can't me mess around with me. Um, in terms of who we're going to play, we'll be playing Red Star in the playoff round. And when is that? Does that sandwich in between anything? It does really, doesn't it? But we could, yeah. No, I'll tell you what. We're gonna we're gonna cancel the Celta friendly. We're gonna cancel that, and yeah, that provide us with a bit, a bit more rest for that game. We're going to have to be at our best to win that one. So we've got an injury to Wijnaldum, albeit not a serious one. Uh, game rearranged. Um, Wendell accepted. They want such high wages, but then I suppose with the satin patch, it replicates real life, but he would be a good option to have. Um... So we've been asked to submit our 25 players. I've just gone with auto here because um, it pretty much gets in every one that we want. The only trouble is with the new signings, what happens with them? Can you submit them in the next round? I'm, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember, but um, that's got everyone we wanted to get in pretty much. So been asked to assign squad numbers uh, I'm going to leave it as as is in real life really yeah, stay the same so Wendell is accepted but again we wait for the work permit to come through here we go today the UEFA Champions League playoff match chance to get into the proper um, this is a team we're going to go with um, I have to remember that I've got to take these guys off long shots for now and um, yeah, when we get someone that can shoot from distances we might change that 
Uh, I'm going to put Kelleher back down into the reserves. And away we go. Chance to get some away goals. Um, they're no mugs, Red Star, but we should overpower them, I would be thinking. Providing they don't get a super keeper effect on us. Brilliant. So we get a first away goal, that's great. 2 0, brilliant. We might as well attack all game and try and get as many away goals as possible. 3 0, because the more we get, the better chance we have. And then perhaps maybe rest a few players up for the second leg. Oof. Get in for Mino. You'd have to think the tie's over now. You'd be a fool not to think that really, wouldn't you? Um, Shakiri. Pretty good. We'll keep as we're going for now. sheet I'm still attacking I'm still going for it okay so I think Shakiri was going down the, um, and I'm going to change the midfield up now bit of energy in there bit what well, the other two get a bit tired Brilliant, brilliant result, and you'd have to say game over now because they're coming to the Lions Den at Anfield, and yeah, even though it's a pl the qualifying round, it's certainly the Lions Den in Europe. Well, this is going to shock a few, yeah. Made a £30 million bid for Wilfred Zaha, player that I know well from my Crystal Palace save, who delivered when you needed him going to try and bring him in because we need some cover for the forward positions and I think having managed him already in a previous save I know he can do the job and we get an injury to the front three we could be in, in trouble here really so yeah we're, we're going to make a bid for him and see if we can get him in because the window's closing in as I say, I've got Shakiri and Lalana, but they're more attacking midfielders. I'm not sure how they can adapt to the forward role. Um, I can certainly use them. We wanted this guy as well. Look at the stats on him. Brilliant. I mean, he would probably be the better out of the two. But we're going to have to pay a bit more for him by the looks of it. Um tempted to offer 36 million pounds for him because he looks phenomenal but um, yeah whether they accept it or not I mean we could try and get both of them really you know it's the more cover the better um, so getting both of them could be an option as well we play Sampdoria today oh wow have made available for okay so I'm going to withdraw that now and I'm going to come in with what Palace have actually put him up for just to see if we can get him a lot cheaper we're running out of time here in terms of the transfer window um, 
Okay, so Curtis Jones, Brewster, wins the next game. Oh, it's not for a while, so we'll play a strong team here. Um, yeah, that'll be the team we play. It's looking like Henderson and Cater are going to be the first choice partnership at the minute. The players I've tried to sign in terms of creative midfield player seems to be taking a while. I don't know if I'm going to get them in before the window. Sam Doria used to be a decent little Italian team years back. He used to compete in quite a lot of European football back in the day. Um, I'm not 100%, but I think Maradona play for them. Could be wrong, but I'm sure Maradona played for them. Um, probably going to change up here now, I think, because it's better to give everyone a bit of football isn't it really um, Milner will come on for Cater he will take the captaincy Wijnaldum Henderson then you'll have uh, Salah will come off Sturridge will come on and I'll probably leave that like that to be honest with you Sampdoria score. Is that Gabby Diani, not the Southampton one, it is. Wow. I never realised he moved. He was meant to be quite a good player. Uh, sorry, I dropped my mouse there. Well, it looks like we're going to lose this at Anfield, which is not very good. Ah, 2 0 down. Yep, so we lose today and another super keeper in. What a surprise. But it's a friendly and we'll take that on the chin. So pre-season, not gone that well really. Um, we lost two games, 1-1. One, one. But we won the game that matters. Uh, we play Newcastle in the first game coming up. So yeah, it's going to be interesting, very interesting. See how we kick off the campaign. Community Shield here, traditional curtain raiser. And again, City win it like real life and take the first silverware of the season, albeit a minor one, by three goals to two. So, yep, it looks like we're going to get Zaha a lot cheaper than planned, so that works perfectly. Um, Brilliant then, much worth it then, getting him for 18.5. Um, one thing I did forget to do was check all the scouts and coaches, etc. I'm going to leave that for this season, and if I do continue with this save, it'll be next season that I sort all that out. But I'll leave the current backroom staff that I've got at the minute and trust in them. So Lil have rejected this, but I mean... £40 million pounds is a lot of money, but I really like this fella's stats, I really do, so I'm tempted to push for it, um, considering it's modern day money on this patch, so I'm going to try and push for that and see if we can get him, because he looks a real player, he really does look a real player, and could potentially play in that centre role, central role as well, very versatile by the looks of it, and we get our first sign in, Again, a player that I know very well, Wilf Zahar, comes to Liverpool and we have sufficient cover for the front three places, certainly the the wider player, um, places. Um, we're also trying to bring in this right back, Diego Lorente, because we don't have another right back. 
with Klein on loan at Bournemouth. So he will be a good option to have as well. And the Pepe bid's been rejected, forty million pound rejected. We'll keep an eye on him. He'll be one earmarked for the future. But we do get Lorente, which is good for twenty five million pound. Young, good determination, stats are looking pretty decent. So he can certainly improve. It'd be a good uh, right back cover to have and that'll probably mean that Klein will be sold. Uh, once his loan spell with uh, Bournemouth um, finishes at the end of the season as we have two good right backs there then ex Real Madrid as it happens this fella um, the transfer deadline is today so we're not going to get anyone else I highly doubt but at least we've got a bit of cover in and things so all is well I'm going to sort my training out in a sec put everyone into their categories if you remember this is how I'm doing it. This is how I like to have my training schedules. Um, I do usually mess around with this and put each coach with at least three. Um, yeah, at least three, but no more than three. Um, but I'm probably going to leave it for now. Um, so yeah, everything looking great. So the only bummer is um, Wendell, who uh, we tried to get in as the, the cover left back for um, Andy Robertson and also Wesley, the striker, um, they don't look like they're going to come through in time. So the only downer of the window is we're short at left back cover, so if Robertson gets injured we're going to have a bit of a crisis, so we may have to call up. Camacho, who has pretty poor strength, tackling, determination as well, and we don't really want to go down that route. But yeah, we're, we're very short in the left back department now. It may even be that we have to. I don't know. I think James Milner. Where is he? He might be able to cover there. He's played there in the past. Um, it's whether CM recognises it. I think it probably does. So we may have to use him there as well. But um, that's the only downer. But uh, yeah, in terms of Wendell, we'll go for him again. Wesley might cancel Wesley's offer. Um, and we'll keep an eye on him, see how he does. But certainly Wendell, we'll have to go for, I think. Because we, we need another left back. So here we go. First game of the season. Newcastle. And yep, yeah, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. We're gonna put these guys down into the reserves. Um, give them a bit of football. Let's put them down there. Bear with me a second. So Lorente's coming. He's actually a star player. That they're muting him as. Is he better than? Hmm, I'm not so sure. But one thing's for sure. We will put him there. Um, Zaha is going to start today he's going to start in place of Shakiri, and this is how we look today how we line up let's hope we can get off to a good start here come on the boys Get in, Gomez, boom from a corner, straight in, header, lovely stuff. We have to make sure we win pretty much all of our home games. It's going to be key, especially games like this. But we're going to face a few crises on the way, that's for sure. Ah, 
Rondon. Get in, Zaha scores on his debut at Anfield. Get in, my son. Perfect. Yep, he's ex-Man United, but we'll welcome him here. If he does a job for us, we'll welcome him with open arms. Great goal for him. Got a seeker at the third now. Kill this game dead. Get in, captain scores. Two of our central defenders score the goals today. They pop up when needed. Perfect. We're going to tone it down a bit now. We're going to go to normal. And I'm going to look at how people are doing. I think Jordan's had a great game, hasn't he? He's got a potential knee injury. So I'm going to bring on Wijnaldum. And Zahar's going to come off for Shakiri And Lorente will get his debut as well at right back. Chance to bring him on. Bred him in. And Perez pulls one back. Nervy times. Oh my word. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, boys. <sighs> Game over. So we come out with the 3 2 win. A tough, tough game that Newcastle made it hard for us. But we had a lot more chances than them. Again, pretty much their keeper stepped up. But I can't complain. We scored three goals. All is well. Chelsea got a 4-3 away win with Burnley there. A nice game to watch for the neutrals. United won, City won, Arsenal, Chelsea, West Tottenham. Tottenham lost to City actually. So, yeah, a good start for us. And we play Red Star next in a probably where we'll rest the team up a little bit, change it around uh, as we're good as through really. So a nice win to start off the premier season. So a bit of a thriller here on a Tuesday night, Arsenal v Manchester United. Um we've also got the League Cup first round. Wow, three old draw. What an entertainer that was. A Bamiang. It's going on the 90th minute. So we play Red Star at home in the second leg of the Champions League playoff. 4-0 um, to the good. We're through. I can say that with confidence. Um, I've changed the lineup completely. I've left Zahar there because Mane will start over him usually. But he's injured today. So, so I might give Zahar some more minutes. Um in terms of left back again what I said to you before Rafa Camacho not great is he but we're going to give him a go at left back today to give Robertson a rest so yeah when Yeldon's going to play in the DMC role um, so yeah I've changed it completely up really in fact I'm quite tempted to play what's Milner's positioning like 14 whereas when Yeldon's is 10 so I'm actually going to play Milner in the DMC role and playing Lalana there as well so that would be our lineup with Milner as captain I'm not worried to be honest we should still have enough I would have thought but Red Star will give it a go we're at home the crowd are carrying us on um, and we're 4-0 up so there's no pressure Get in. Danny Sturridge opens his account for me. That'll take even more pressure off now. It's 
Sturridge again, and that's good to know. It's good to know he's scoring goals. We can bring him in if need be, and he gets a hat trick. Perfect. 7 0 on aggregate. So we were looking at that other striker, but no, we've got Danny Sturridge. And I love Danny Sturridge in real life. I think he's a quality player. He's just been so unlucky with injuries. So, yeah, I'm pleased he's getting the goals here. Um, I don't really want to be changing anything. I don't want to bring no one on, really, because they're first-teamers, so the rest will, will benefit them. I may just go with this team all the way. Oh, Red Star pull another one back, though. It's a good game for the fans. 54,064 people have turned up. What is the capacity? So, yeah, it's almost a full stadium, apart from 10 people. So, they've come to see us today. I'm not going to bring no one on. I'm just going to leave as is. Penalty. It's a penalty. And Wynn Yaldum steps up and takes it. I should have set that, really. That reminds me, I will set that, and I'll have a look at my set pieces as well. But Wynn Yaldum buries it, so that's good. What's this guy like? He's average. Not good enough for us, is he? Lovely win for us. 4-2. Perfect. Danny Sturridge. Mignolet had a bit of a shocker. Camacho steady, which is which is handy to know. But we navigate through. And the draw now for the business end. And we play PSG again. Wee hey, look. We will come across PSG again. This time in the Champions League. Also Club Bruges. Well, <laughs> I didn't realise. What about that? Two of our pre-season candidates we've already played. And we both play them again in the Champions League. What are the chances of that? AEK of Athens of Greece. We should be able to bowl him over. I think we should get out of that, out of that group. But you just don't know, do you? You never know. So this is how I'm setting my um, free kick takers and stuff probably won't have a playmaker for now because I don't think we've got that real creative player um, in terms of penalty takers Salah's going to be our first penalty taker City 5 Chelsea 3 big eye scoring game there so Real Madrid lift the UEFA Super Cup against their big rivals local rivals Atletico Madrid in a game full of chances Bait him on penalties there. Some Prem games there. Most have paid two games above us, so uh, we nailed them out. Luckily, we got a bit of cover for the centre midfield places. So we play Palace today at home. Um, Mane still out. So Zaha will line up against his old club. Uh, Wijnaldum's got an injury, but we have got Milner on the bench and Lalana. Lovren will come on. Um, so yeah, Zaha play against his old club here today. And again, we'll look to keep the good form going as we stay at Anfield and look to win in front of our fans. Palace, the old club that I managed as well on my other save. Actually interested to see how they're managed. So that's how Roy Hodgson has set them up quite defensively with three defensive mids. Get in, Salah.
Palace certainly playing in that defensive way not having many chances but we're 1-0 up we broke the deadlock so that was stand us in good stead they'll have to come out now Palace either that or limit the damage um, we're going to stay with her again Zahar hasn't showed up against his old club though conscious to get another goal here really because game's not out of sight Oof. so Bobby's going to come off for Sturridge who had a great game last time round Lalana for Henderson Penalty, get in. And Salah makes it two. That's the goal you want. That's the goal. Surely another penalty? Oh, oh no, for them it was. So Zahar's going to come off as well for Shakiri. See it out, boys. Two nil, fantastic, and the run continues for the boys. And the boulder happy with that. So that's going to be the end of this first episode. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Great to manage my beloved Liverpool know them a lot better than I did Palace um, so yeah we started off well 6 points in the league we, we navigated through in the Champions League scoring 8 goals in the process friendlies were a bit disappointing but friendlies are friendlies and what a coincidence that we will play PSG and Club Bruges in a business end of the Champions League so when I say the business end I mean the competitive end where it all gets competitive Um so yeah we look forward to that and I will see you for the next episode goodbye